How do we prove stuff in math? I think the idea of a mathematical proof is sometimes thought of as this huge paper full of alien symbols that no normal person could possibly understand. But the truth is that mathematical proof is nothing more than precise deductive reasoning acting on well-defined terms and definitions. So to write a mathematical proof, all we have to do is have good reasoning skills and we have to be able to speak precisely. Now let's see this idea in action by writing a couple of simple proofs. We'll first prove that the sum of two odd integers is even. Now you may think that the language being so precise and formal is just kind of pedantic, but whenever you're proving things that you aren't as comfortable with, sometimes you have to go through everything in a very precise and methodical way because you aren't as familiar with what you're proving. Here that's not the case because everyone knows what an even integer what it is, what an odd integer is, and everyone knows the sum of odd integers is even. But we're still going to apply a rigorous proof style to that fact. And in any case, a nicely written formal proof has a very pleasing look to it. It's almost like poetry. Anyway, let's try proving that the sum of two odd integers is an even integer. So first we need a nice working definition. Let's start with even. We all know what an even number is. It's divisible by two. But we need a nice working definition. So instead of saying that an even number is a number that is divisible by two, let's say that an even number is two times some other number. So we'll say that an integer x is even if there exists an integer n such that x is equal to two times n. For example, 8 is even because it is 4 times 2. 10 is even because it is 5 times 2. 38 is even because it is 2 times something. Anyway, that's going to be our working definition for an even number. Our working definition for odd will be sort of the same, except we'll add 1 to our expression. That is, a number x is odd if there exists an integer n such that x is equal to 2n plus 1. Okay, now that we have some nice working definitions, let's attempt to prove our statement. We want to prove that the sum of two odd numbers is an even number. Did I just record this entire video wearing a bright white toga without realizing that it was going to make the writing hard to see? Yes, I did. Let's prove this damn thing. So, we want to show that the sum of two odd numbers is even. So let's let x and y be odd numbers. We're not going to pick specific odd numbers, we're going to stay general. So let's just let x and y be odd numbers. Then by definition, we can say that there is some integer n such that x is 2n plus 1, and some integer m such that y is 2m plus 1. Now we want to show something about their sum, so let's add x and y. By definition, these are expressions for x and y, so I can write the sum x plus y as 2n plus 1 plus 2n plus 1. Now since addition is commutative, I can rearrange this however I want so that I get this. I can add the two ones together. Now finally, by the distributive property, I can factor out a 2. Now since m and n are integers, their sum is an integer, and then we add 1 and we get yet another integer. So this whole thing is just some integer, and x plus y is 2 times that integer. Therefore, x plus y is 2 times an integer, so it is even by definition. And that is a perfectly fine proof of the fact that the sum of two odd numbers is even. Okay, so now let's try showing that the product of two odd numbers is odd. So just like before, we're going to let x and y be odd numbers, staying general about it. Since x and y are odd, by definition there are integers n and m such that x is equal to 2n plus 1 and y is equal to 2m plus 1. It's very important to master the usage of these words, like thus, hence, therefore really makes the proof, uh, it puts the final touches on the proof, you know what I mean? Okay, anyways, <laughs> we have these two expressions for the numbers that are odd, x and y, so let's take their product. Now we multiply this out, and we get 4nm plus 2n plus 
m plus 1. We can factor out a 2 from the first three terms. n and m are integers, so 2nm plus n plus m is another integer. And so x times y is equal to 2 times some integer plus 1. So x times y is odd by definition. All right, and finally, we'll try proving that the sum of an odd number and an even number is an odd number. So like before, we're going to be general about it. Let's let x be our even number and y be our odd number. The fact that I'm picking x to be the even one and y to be the odd one does not matter. Uh, it's just a choice. Usually when we're writing a proof and we make a choice like that, that doesn't actually affect the reasoning of it. We say without loss of generality. It means this choice I'm making doesn't actually affect anything. If you made the other choice, everything would be the same way. So by definition, there's an integer n such that x is equal to 2n and an integer m such that y is equal to 2m plus 1. Now we want to know something about the sum of these two numbers, so we'll add x and y. Now by the distributive property, I can factor out a 2 here. And here we have our result. Since n and m are integers, n plus m is also an integer. And here we have 2 times an integer plus 1, that is the definition of being odd, therefore x plus y is odd. Now these of course are meant to be very straightforward basic examples of proof writing. It's not always so simple as just write the definition and the result you want follows. Sometimes some different proof strategies have to be employed, but this does demonstrate the overall idea, I guess, of proof writing. Be precise in your speech and definitions, use deductive reasoning, and stay general when you're writing your proofs. Maybe I'll cover some of those other proof strategies in another video, but that's gonna have to do it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.